So if I were to narrow down on why I am advocating for CII, CPAR, and why I am participating in it, it's really because within my patient panel, there's a lot of a vulnerable population. Just where I'm located, you know, with the um, the low SES, the substance use, the mental health issues, and so you know, I'm stepping into that to take care of them. And really, what my hope is that you know, I have through the relationship that I've grown in you know, my encounters with them, I just want them to be able to receive the medical attention should their situation decompensate or be worse. It just says any, as it would for anybody. And so it's a chance for me to, as I have these little snippets of, Hey, this is how we're working on this and how we're working on that. Here are the changes. It just gives a, a, a way, one that identifies me as the doctor to say, yep, I'm the person that they have to return to once the acute stuff is done, but then also perhaps, you know, it's an opportunity for the people in the eMERGE or the people in the hospital to say, oh, okay, this is where things have been. This is what's happened. And so it allows the patient to remain to be seen as a patient, as a human and not just, you know, a medical condition. The other population that's important to me is just the people who don't speak English well. You know, and so I have the languages that I deal with and just people who are coming and saying, hey, I don't know how to navigate the system. I don't know what's going on. Can you please help me? I do it and put in that extra care so that, you know, things aren't lost in translation or some family member didn't misinterpret what's happening. It's very clear. This is the family physician. This is a physician speaking and making you know, medical notes to say, this is what I did. And for these reasons. And so we're not losing things in translation because it's a physician speaking to a physician. And so then that helps take care of them. And so, you know, if they're in for a surgery or if their post-op this happened or they're reacting to something, at least there's some way for it to be explained rather than lots of hand gestures and raised voices about how to understand what's happening.